Explosion welding. Explosive welding is a solid state welding process. It is largely used for cladding processes. Cladding is the process of joining two dissimilar metals together by extruding and pressing or rolling the two metals together under high pressure. It is one of the important methods used for joining the metals by the application of detonation of chemical explosives. There are few metals that are difficult to weld together, hence this process is used to obtain good bonding strength between these metals, and this process of welding does not require a filler metal. Working Principle The working principle of this method is that, with the application of the controlled detonation of the chemical explosives on the welding surface, these explosion causes the weld plate to accelerate with very high velocity against the other metal, thus deforming the plate at the interface. This plastic deformation forms a metallurgical bond at the interface of the metals to be joined. The detonation lasts for a very short period of time, and thus it does not damage the metals. Explosion welding can produce the bond between the metals which cannot be welded or bonded together with the application of the conventional welding processes. Apart from these videos, we have other courses on our website which will boost your skills. The link is provided in the description down below. Explosives. The explosives are packed in a box structure and are placed or held on the flyer plate or on the buffer plate. The explosives can be TNT, that is, trinitrotoluene, RDX, that is, research department explosive or royal demolition explosive, PTN, that is, pentaerythrital, tetranitrate. Flyer plate or clad. The flyer plate is also referred to as clad. It is a metal that is going to be welded with the base plate. The flyer plate is placed at an angle or parallel to the base plate and it is lighter in density and has got low tensile yield strength than the base plate. Base plate. It is a stationary plate which is called a base plate. It is backed by the backer plate which supports the base plate during the explosion and prevents any distortion of the base plate. Buffer plate. Buffer plate is placed between the explosives and the flyer plate or clad, it prevents any damage inflicted by the explosives on the flyer plate and reduces the effect of the explosion on the surface of the flyer plate. Standoff distance. The distance or the gap between the flyer plate and the base plate is called a standoff distance and it plays a very important role in forming a weld. For a thin flyer plate, standoff distance is taken as double the thickness of the flyer plate. For thick flyer plate, the standoff distance is equal to the thickness of the flyer plate. Velocity of detonation. The rate of detonation of the explosive is commonly referred to as the velocity of detonation. It is directly proportional to the type of chemical explosive and its density. Normally the velocity of detonation is kept less than 120% of sonic velocity. Working. First, the surface to be welded together are cleaned and prepared. No rust or deformation should remain on the surface to produce a good weld quality. The base plate is then supported on the anvil to withstand the explosion and prevent distortion. Then the flyer plate is placed on the surface of the base plate by maintaining a standoff distance. The flyer plate can be held at an angle or parallel to the base plate depending on the configuration of weld requirement. The buffer plate is placed or held over the flyer plate to protect the flyer plate from any damage or effect inflicted by the detonation of explosives. Then the prepared explosives are packed in a box-like structure, having the same size as the weld surface and there is a detonator that initiates the explosion, it is placed at one side of the explosives. This explosive is then placed over the buffer plate. The detonator ignites the explosives, the explosion generates a high pressure wave, this wave causes the flyer plate to accelerate at a very high velocity causing the flyer plate to deform plastically at the interface between the base and the flyer plate, thus forming a metallurgical bond. This bond is stronger than the parent metal. Application. For welding the metals together which cannot be bonded by other conventional welding processes. For lap welding. Cladding the metal with the alloys. For welding clad sheets to the steel for heat exchanger. For welding pipes, concentric cylinders, etc. It is used for welding a cooling fan. It is used for welding together the large sheets of aluminium to the stainless steel. 
advantages. It makes it possible to weld very large sheets together in an instant of explosion. Both similar and dissimilar metal can be welded together. It is a cold welding process and does not affect the properties of the metal to be welded. Can weld or bond a large variety of metal that cannot be easily bonded by other conventional methods of bonding. This welding process is compact, portable, and easy to maintain. Limitations. Due to the configuration of the process, the geometry of the material to be welded is limited, that is, design of the joint is limited. Produces noise pollution. Can only wed together the high ductile and tough materials. This is how the explosion welding process works. If you like the video, please hit the like button. If you want to see more videos, hit the subscribe button.